In this video, I'll show you how you can use the action of your drag and drop interaction to reveal the next drag object. Okay, let's get started here. So I got a message from Vignesh and Vignesh was basically asking um, how you can create a new drag and drop interaction where you have multiple uh, drag objects that are start off as hidden. And as you drag the first one over, the second one gets revealed and so forth and so on. And so I think I have a solution for it. I'm not really sure why Vignesh wants this, um, but I'm using an example of playing cards where you simply need to drag the playing cards to the boxes that describe the suits that they're in. So hopefully this is close to what um, what Vignesh had in, in mind and we'll give it a shot here. Uh, I've decided just for, uh, for interest sake is to show you how to set up a drag and drop not using the interactive wizard um, or interaction wizard, the drag and drop uh, wizard. What we'll do is we'll uh, start off with the drag and drop property inspector here and with no drag and drop in place, there's nothing there right now. So we're just going to hit the plus button here and all that really happens at that point is that it creates a submit button and I'll just slightly reposition that. And now I can select all of my objects. In this case, I'm going to start off by selecting the cards and we'll start off with the clubs and we'll mark that as a drag source. We'll do the same thing with uh, the heart card. We'll mark that as a drag source and we can do the same thing with the diamond card drag source, spade, drag source, and now we can select the heart drop and call that a drop target and clubs, sorry, we want the club drop and drop target and we need the diamond drop. See, I've labeled these all in advance, which makes for uh, doing this process a heck of a lot easier and spade drop will mark that as a drop target and then the final step in this process is to identify where all of these go so we'll just do that real quick here so that's it I mean it's almost as easy as the the wizard but you can do this if you wish uh, I'm just going to move these failure and success captions out of the way. In fact, I'm going to get rid of them because what I've done is I've created some navigation that I'm going to take advantage of. I have an incorrect slide and I have a success slide and the incorrect slide will actually what we'll do is um, we'll go back to the previous slide uh, or jump to slide one in this case here. The success will allow you to continue to the end of the course. So uh, pretty straightforward there. So what I want to do is uh, on success, I want to jump down to slide three in this case here. And on failure, I want to jump to slide two, which will give me a different message. And I'm going to uncheck the failure caption and uncheck the success caption. I just find it's a little bit more natural flowing, but it's entirely up to you. If you're more of a caption person, you certainly can do that as well. Um, you can leave auto submit correct answers on, but I, I think I'll or uh, check it off, but I'm going to leave mine unchecked. I am going to add an undo button. So if the user drags something over and changes their mind, I want them to be able to uh, drag it uh, away. I also want a reset button, again, giving users the greater number or amount of flexibility. And uh, I'm actually going to go over to the options tab. I don't usually go there as well, but I'm going to check off redrag the dropped source because I don't want someone, I want someone to be able to change their mind. And let's just go here and everything looks fine there in format. We're going to do a couple things here. 
Uh, I'm going to create a zoom in effect for the cards as they're being dragged over. And uh, we'll just uh, now assign some object actions for each one here. So the first card and the card that is going to start off as visible in output, you see all my remaining cards are not visible in output. So I now need to set up some actions when the club gets dragged over to the clubs box. So object actions. Now in this case here, I'm just going to move my accepted drag sources box over here so that I can see what I'm working with here. So I'm working with the clubs first, which means I don't want to be able to drag the diamonds, hearts, or spades to that box. I'm going to uncheck accept all and then leave this to go back. So the card, any other card that gets dragged to clubs will be rejected. But I want to set an action for when the correct club, the ten of clubs, gets dragged to the club box. So we're going to set the action to show the hearts. In this case, the seven of hearts. So I'm going to select that. I don't want it to continue playing the project because there's more to this uh, interaction to, to happen. So I'll uncheck that, click OK, click OK again. And I'm going to do the same thing for the hearts. So object action. And I'm just going to move this over here so we can see it clearly. I'm going to uncheck clubs, diamonds, and spades. Uncheck accept all. Go back. And the action will be to show the next card available, which in this case will be diamonds. And again, uncheck continue playing the project. Click OK, click OK. Again, do the same thing here. This will be to uncheck everything except diamonds, uncheck except all. And we're going to change that action to show, in this case here, the spades, the, the eight of spades. And then our final item here, actually, because there's nothing left to reveal, all we're going to do is make sure that uh, all but spades are unchecked, accept all, turn off, and go back. And we don't need an action because there's nothing else to show here. And that's pretty much it. I think we're pretty much good to go. Let's give this a test and see if it, it functions accordingly. One of the things that you can double check is to set your correct answers. The, the arrows kind of reveal that, but you know you can just double check that. Everything's fine. And uh, in fact, you could even set this up to be uh, a sequence if you wanted to force people uh, to do this in the correct order. But the fact is, is that because all but the current item is invisible, there's really no choice but to do it in order anyway. But let's take a look at it. We'll see how this works. So here's our stage. We have the Ten of Clubs visible. Nope, doesn't like going to diamonds or hearts, so it's being rejected. Let's move it to clubs. And now we have the hearts. So seven of hearts, let's try and drag that to any other of the spots. No, it only goes in the hearts. And the six of diamonds, try it in the spades. No, it doesn't let me replace those objects there. Although you could, you could have instead of uh, go back, replace, but that's not how we set it up. So and then finally this one here, and let's hit submit. We should see, ah, success. And then next the end. So that works perfectly fine. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.